Level up loading. Fight feelings, face facts. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Level Up Loading, Fight Feelings, Face Facts with yours truly. So I really just wanted to kind of let you guys know something that's been on my heart. I, I actually do a lot of, I do a lot of research. Like when I'm at work, I'm listening to self-help books. I'm listening to motivational speakers. I'm listening to people who um, deem themselves people of God you know I'll do a lot of that type of stuff so usually I'm balancing myself between that and like judge math this <laughs> listen okay sometimes you you just need that kind of relief but neither here nor there um so you know we talk so much about you know God give me what I want God give me the desires of my heart and I think this is specific actually to people in my age group but also could apply to people that are, are younger and older we ask and we expect God to give us the desires of our hearts but we don't even know what what those are half the time we don't even know what we want to be we don't know who we want to be we don't know who we want to be with we don't want to know we don't even know what character traits they have to offer us we don't even know what's deal breakers for us we don't even know our boundaries we don't know our standards we don't know a lot we don't know a lot but we put this imaginary pressure on god to give us the desires of our hearts and i was just thinking about myself this was like i said this is not just me talking to you guys this is me talking to myself as well i'm just like girl how can you have him to send you something or send you somewhere and you don't know where you want to be you don't know what you want to do you don't know who you want to be with you don't know who oh well, I kind of know who I don't want to be with I ain't gonna hold you but and I mean that can be half the battle sometimes like if you're able to dictate and discern who what is not for you then you will have a better chance of trying to figure out what is for you but we don't do that and to me it's kind of crazy that we don't do that because it's like we want God to put the work in it and well not work but we want him to do the work we don't even want to try to find ourselves to figure out what it is that we actually need to level up what it is we actually need to attract the type of partner that we want what it is we actually need to uh, qualify for the job and the career path that we're trying to go what course we need to take in order for our business to do better what marketing strat strategies can we use to appeal to more people we don't want to do that work we just want to say god give me the desires of my heart i want my business to be a i want my business to be fruitful i want my business to be a household name cool but what work are you putting into it matter of fact skip the work do you even really know what that looks like for you have you even defined it and like I said, I'm talking to you guys, but I'm talking to myself as well. And it's something that I think we really, really, really need to kind of hone in on and figure out because we're never going to get what we want if we don't know what we want. And another thing that is not for me that maybe for some of you is, well, I don't know. I have to think about it. Maybe it's not in the way that I intended. I might have to think about it in other ways. But it's very hard for God to give us something when both our hands are full. We don't want to get we don't want to let go of anything we don't want to give up on something so small but yet we want something big how can you even hold what god has for you if i be in stress because it's like i'm talking to myself how can you even hold what god has for you this big thing that you're asking or this even medium thing that you're asking for but you're trying to hold on to these two small things that you're comfortable with they're, they're small, but they've gotten me through so much. We are so scared to let things go. We are so scared to release things. We are so scared to be out of our comfort zone that we cannot grow. And the more that I fight against those feelings of stagnant, 
stagnancy and um complacency the more that i see it in other people and that's the hard part about it i will say that's not what it looks like y'all relax but when you start to open your eyes and you start to see things it is very important and this is a message to me and anyone else who's watching that this may you know hit a note with it's very important to realize that people have their own destination their own journey and their own timing it's also important to know that you can't take people with you all the time it's also important to know that you can't make someone have their growth moment when they're when you're having yours but it's also important to know that you don't need dead weight you don't need anybody that's holding you down dragging you down and that's not to say to discard that person that's not to say that you don't love that person that's not to say that you don't stick around with that person but what it is saying is that and this can apply for your spouse your live-in uh, partner your family your co-workers <laughs> anything you cannot be afraid to say you know right now we're not on the same page and we are not going in the same direction and also you, you can't be afraid to say you know what you're you're, you're holding me back you're you're i'm sorry i was a little natty here it's getting warm so you know they be out but anyway you're holding me back you're stifling me or you're stunting my growth you're putting me in this box and it's not that you're doing it on purpose. It's not that that person is trying to. They are comfortable with what they're doing right now. They're comfortable with where they're, they are. They may have their own plans for growth, but it might not coincide with what yours looks like. And you have to not hold on so tightly to people because not only are you stifling yourself, but you're also stifling them. And I can speak from experience that it's been times where I've had to release people and not only did I elevate and level up but so did they we were like each other's comfort um like each other's comfort zone or emotional support blanket or I don't know but whatever it was it was weighted and whether the weight was mutual or one-sided or lopsided on either end we the end result was we both were being held back from what was really truly our growth and our development and our level up and so sometimes you might have to think about it like that like yes i i don't want this person to feel abandoned i don't want this person to feel left behind i don't want this person to feel like i'm discarding them they've been there for so many things and that's amazing and that's great and i love when somebody can stick around for a long time but every season is not going to continue for all times and Honestly, you're probably doing them a disservice. And maybe you're the strong one. Maybe you're the one that has the courage to actually break that codependency. To actually break that um, curse, essentially. You guys are cursing each other. You're holding each other down. It's like crabs in a bucket. And the crabs don't mean any harm, I don't think. I have to look that up. <laughs> the crabs don't mean any harm. But... They just, and they're frantic trying to get out this bucket. They're pulling their people down. And that's essentially what we do when we hold on to these boyfriends that are abusive to us. These friendships that are emotionally draining us. These friendships that keep us in the same cycles. That don't evolve with us. Um, where they're still doing the things that the old you used to do. But the new you is trying to keep that relatability. Um, I could go on and on. That 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 family member who continues to remind you of who you used to be and what you used to do, and never wants to see your growth, never wants to see you do anything. That person who pops up and says, "Oh, I see you doing your little thing. Oh, I see you with the little podcast. Oh, I see you with the little YouTube channel." I'm just using myself for example. And my thing is, it may be little. It may be little right now. But it's purposeful and not only that, it is impacting somebody. It's impacting people. My podcast, I've been doing this podcast for over a year. I just recently started the visual aspect of it on YouTube. But my analytics for my podcast 
are <laughs> I have almost every age group listening. I have I, I want to say like 10 countries places that I have never even been to don't even know if I ever will because it's how, how many you know that it is but it's impactful and honestly if my words can reach somebody and even if it's just one person that is an impact that's purpose so anybody who I'm getting so off topic y'all but whatever the word is the word it, 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 listen when when the words are flowing I take it and I run with it anybody who is coming into your life and you're afraid to let them go a lot of times that's codependency a lot of times that is you scared of what will happen when you don't have that weight like a balloon you know like a balloon you know y'all know i love me an analogy one thing about it i'm gonna do me an analogy it's like a balloon you have this balloon that's filled with helium god put helium in you oh my god yes lord god put helium in you but you're letting this weight hold that string so hard and so tight because they want you there at their party you know how when you go get in the car like you go buy all these balloons and one of them just get out be that balloon be the balloon that breaks off from the bunch forget your party forget your ceiling forget your house forget your kids they're gonna do them but pop me and and abuse me <laughs> i'm gonna get out of here while we in a parking lot and i'm gonna fly on up into the sky and i'm gonna elevate be that balloon honestly please y'all be that balloon i want that for you and i really really believe that we can do it we have to know what we want though we can't elevate to a level we don't even know what the next level is if we don't even know what we want that's like me working at mcdonald's and i start off on fries and i'm like lord i want to build i want to go up in this mcdonald's corporation i want to own my own my own like that's such a grand you know i want to own my own mcdonald's that's like so cliche and i'm not trying to down put that but i'm saying like okay now break it down how does that look what does that encompass who have you do you know anybody who has done it can you learn anything from anybody you can't just go from fries to owning your own mcdonald's you got to learn the process you have to make the steps you have to learn business you have to learn customer service you have to learn how to actually run a business you can't just be like god give me the desire for my heart i want me a mcdonald's no like that's it's not he's not santa claus he's not santa claus so i said all that to say fight the feeling of complacency fight the feeling of confusion get in tune with you get in tune with your star player figure out what exactly it is that you want so that you can be granted the desires of your heart but also realize that holding on to dead situations, watering dead plants, is keeping you from your elevation. Whatever you want to do, if it's in God's will, he will help you to do it. He will bring people in your life that will help you do it. But you got to do the work too. Figure out what you want. Figure out if it aligns with God's plan and purpose for you. And move. You gotta move. You can't just dream. Dreaming is great. Hoping is fabulous. But you gotta move. And on that note, guys, I will talk to you later. You guys have an amazing rest of your evening. And I hope that this message resonated with someone. Even if it's two to three people, I just hope that somebody got something from this. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys later. Bye.